Hi, it's Anne Emery. Welcome back to Data Viz on the Go, the series where I make quick tutorials for you as I'm running around between workshops. I've got about six minutes before I need to log onto Zoom and lead a virtual class. So let's do it. Let's talk maps, busy maps, dense maps, maps with two variables. We're pretending that we're looking at the alpha beta Charlie syndrome, the ABC syndrome. This was a one page PDF posted on this org's website and they were looking at at counts with the circles and rates with the color coding. This is a really common thing to need to look at in public health, counts and rates. But even if you're not working in public health, I bet you have maps and graphs that are really busy and really dense. So a good rule of thumb is if it feels a little bit busy, if it feels like it's two variables on top of each other, like this one literally is, it's literally circles on top of shading. If it feels too busy, time out. Try small multiples. We're starting with two variables. We're gonna end with two maps, two headings, two colors, two sets of takeaway sentences, two sets of bolding, bolding keywords to make it even more skimmable. And here's my favorite part, two sets of annotations, call out boxes to draw attention to highs, to lows, to averages, to not averages, to things that are unusual, anything that you want to draw your audience's attention to that you think is really interesting, really unusual, really noteworthy about your data set, that gets to go in a call-out box, an annotation like one of these. Remember where we started? We started with a one pager with two variables smushed on top of each other, and then we have to time out because our brains are good at single tasking, not multitasking. So if we start with two variables, we end with two maps, small multiples, so that our audience can read them one at a time. They can look at the patterns in one map, and then they can look at the patterns in the other map. Nice and easy, nice and sequential. All right, you tell me, what types of questions do you have about this? Do you have questions, uh, how-to questions? What software did I use? What buttons do I click on to make this happen? Do you have data viz best practices and formatting questions? Are you wondering how this applies to your data set? I don't know, you tell me. Comment below the video and I'll get to as many of your questions as I possibly can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.